hello hello guys uh here we have an hp laptop it's a comeback it's not turning on at all anyway i'll be using my uh my discipline power supply to turn it on to try to turn it on you will see what exactly it does okay here we have uh, a pin let's connect the pin let's connect a charger i mean sorry this is a dc bench power supply now let's connect the, the ground you need to have your your meter your multimeter next to you let's turn on the dc bench power supply okay something is taking uh 300 milliamps but when you press the power button nothing is turning it's turning on You can feel the board with your hand to, to see, I mean to feel if there's anything getting hot. But it's going to be impossible because something is taking 300 uh, milliamps of which it is too, it's too low. It's not going to be easy to detect what is getting hot. At least if it was taking one amp. But now 300 milliamps. I mean 300 milliamps guys is not gonna be be easy. Okay, I can't feel a thing. Okay, so now what we do? Uh let's check some volts. We need to check the 19 volts, but I believe the 19 volts uh here it's okay. And uh where do we check the 19 volts? this time let's do everything uh, um different let's uh let's go online all uh, right let's go online together let's find the schematic for this board and the board number you use a board number there would be a matter board number uh, okay so what do we type we type d a all right there it is because i did search for this board i mean for this uh schematic so you will see like a bunch of results uh there is uh, the first one is ali uh, ali seller the second one is lay by inside the third one is s manuals all of these three are free of charge and even the, the fifth one is the bed caps it's free of charge as well but let's use the first one since uh most of those four are free of charge let's download the schematic I know some of you they are struggling they don't know how to download the schematic all of those things but i'm gonna show it to you now and then you press download there it's free of charge you don't have to subscribe uh nothing actual nothing is needed of you you just need to download there the schematic okay it's been downloaded already let me say open now i'm opening the schematic we'll be able to press our 19 volts and see how the power flows but i know for sure that there's nothing wrong with our with our 19 volts but i want you to be to be sent in about everything all right here we are we have we have what we have the schematic and then once you have the schematic how do you how do you locate uh the part where do you check it's very very simple you you have to scroll down until you reach the charger the charger section you need to reach the charger section okay let's go down i will show it to you you will see as well it's always the same same pattern you will see a charging chip and uh yeah, on top on your left hand side there will be two mosfets uh carrying the 19 volts Okay, there it is. I, I believe this is the one. Let me zoom in so that you will see everything. Yes, uh, it is. As you can see on my right hand side at the bottom, there is written charger. 
and this is the charging chip on top of the charging chip uh, okay you will see uh, two MOSFETs where are these two MOSFETs mm -hmm. okay this one it's uh it's it's it, 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 it's different but it doesn't matter anyway uh because you need to follow to follow your 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 charger section let's go on our board okay here we have the the charger it's connected here and it's go straight here and here this black thing it's a, it's a diode it's pd it's pd5 anyway i'll show it to you under the microscope i want you to see everything perfect no worries As you can see it's written there pd pd5 and uh, let's go back to our schematic and see pd5 all right hope you can see this is pd5 here it acts as the first power there is a fuse this is uh pd5 we need to have the 19 volts on the on this uh on 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 the pd5 we need to have the 19 volts okay this is how you're gonna do it let's go back we can remove the microscope aside and uh, the trace the lights all right connect our ground again Make sure your multimeter is on. It's on the range of uh, of twenty volts. Turn on the, the power supply. There on uh, on on PD five, we will get nineteen volts. Let's see, and we do get eighteen point seven two, of which it's a uh, it's a nineteen volts. Okay, so far we are uh, we know that there's nothing wrong with our with our nineteen volts. So. We even get a light here. I wasn't aware. Let me show it to you. Hope you can see a light. We do get a light here. And then the light went went away. I'm not sure if you noticed there was a light here and then it went it went away. Okay. So now what uh, what do we do what's next uh let's check our 3.3 volts go back to our schema check as well and this thing is very very simple guys you will get used to it okay i will do the same thing with the schema check as well i know the that run for the scheme i mean for 3.3 as well this is 3.3 and this is 5 volts it's even written there uh, on your right hand side it's there it's the uh, bottom 3.3 and uh, 5 volts okay so what you do is you check where to check for 5 volts or uh, 3 volts okay this is 5 volts always and on the right hand side is 3 volts always so they are saying on uh, on pl pl8 here pl pl8 you will get the 5 volts and here pl pl9 yeah i think you will get 3 three volts so what you do is you go back to your to your to your board let's go back to our board now what you do is you look for for pl5 i mean for pl8 and pl pl9 right where is pl9 and where is pl pl8 we are okay this is pl11 pl12 then we 
Where are these coils? Because I can't see them. They should be lying somewhere, somewhere around. But we will find them step by step. I hope I have the correct schematic. Just hope and pray. I don't like to waste my time. And it's 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 dark, it's at night. No, 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 guys, I think I have the wrong schematic. I don't see uh, PL. Okay, let me check again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we are, PL8 and then PL9, okay. I'm not sure if you want to see under the microscope or not, but I can show it to you, no worry. No worries. Okay, it's here. This is PL. Uh, it's written somewhere, somewhere. Okay, this is PL7, no. I want to show you PL8. Uh, okay, there it is. This is PL8. Hope you can see PL8. And the other one here, it's a, it's PL9. This one is PL. It's PL9 is written there. Okay, so let me push the microscope aside. So there we should have 5 volts and the 3 volts. Let's see how many volts we have on those two coils. Anyway, this is how you will check for 3.3 and the, and the 5 volts. There is no any other option, but this is the, the option to check for 3.3 volts and 5 volts. And then there you will know that you have a problem with what? With your 3.3 or you have a problem with your, your 5 volts or both of them. Because both of them, they are being generated by, by one chip. As you can see, it's one chip and it generates 2 volts right hand side and the left hand side so this is how you check and measure the 3.3 and the 5 volts but anyway let's uh, let's go ahead let's see uh, let's turn on my power supply have the lights here and then it went it went away but who cares it's okay let's check how many volts i boo we do have a uh, 5 volts and we do have the the 3.3 volts I bo, I bo. We do have all all the necessary volts, the three point three and the five volts. How surprising! Uh, this is three point three, I mean five volts, and uh, and the three point three volts. So now the question is why the machine is not turning on, but it's okay. We are about to find out. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop here hope you get the lesson for 3.3 volts and the 5 volts but i'm gonna continue on another another video let me repeat again this is how you check and measure the 3.3 volts and the 5 volts let's say on these two calls you are not receiving any voltage you are gonna diagnose the 3.3 and the 5 volt section and uh yeah this is how you do it anyway watch my next my next video